Hey, everyone. I'm the Dr. Bob Lee for 107.5 WPLS. You're watching Open. It's that live interactive program that brings the Bronx and New York City straight to your TV set. You can stay connected to us through social media at BronxNet TV. We've got it going on for you. In fact, leading things off, our first guest is a brand creative global digital health influencer. He's here to speak about the work that he is doing to create brand identity for the public health needs and to highlight the various initiatives he has launched. So please welcome to the show, Carl Lorenzo McGuire. Carl, welcome. How are you? Thank you, Dr. Bob Lee. It's such a pleasure to be able to meet you. I've known of your work ever since, oh, I've been in Co-op City for over 20 years and have been. A, I'm a fan. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. All right, so we hear a lot about you. What inspired your journey into the creative marketing and digital branding uh, space? Well, for many years, I've always been interested in design and creative. And I've worked for many of the hospitals in New York City, uh, designing and branding for basically most of the majority of hospitals. And later on, I decided that I wanted to start my own, I guess, mm -hmm. uh, little shop. So then uh, we started doing design and creative, and now I've, I guess a transi transition has taken place to now looking for categories, uh, not just trying to brand a, a different, uh, I guess, businesses, but I feel that categories is so important because that's the way that people engage now. Uh, uh, people engage more to things that could be able to help them, where they could be a part of it. And I feel that what I'm doing now could be able to lend itself to that. Right. Categories. Explain that just a little bit more. Okay. Perfect example. Uh, you could take, let's say there's hundreds of sneaker companies, but when you develop a category, then now people are interested and they can understand the importance of a sneaker. And then they can decide on what specific detail that they need to satisfy their needs. Yeah. And medicine is no different. I'm dealing with bloodless medicine and surgery or blood management. That hadn't been a category in the past. You may have heard about it. It may have had some types of bad connotations only because a certain groups, you know, Jehovah's Witnesses, which I'm one, you know, they made requests to be able to have these, this type of innovation maybe 20, 30 years ago. But now uh, the medical field is so advanced that it's time for the category to be created so people can make decisions not based on uh, maybe religion or morals, or just based on just common good medicine and common good decision making. How has this um, career in advertising that you uh, started, uh, you were involved in marketing too, how has it influenced the new lane that uh, you have traveled along uh, this sector? How, how, did you, how did you intersect all of this? How did you put it all together? How has it helped you? Excellent question. I work for some of the largest ad agencies in New York, uh, and I support it either doing production or sometimes doing creative. In life, it's so important to take all of your experiences and not only appreciate them, but grow upon them and remember yep. them. Because as you grow older in life, and that one project or that one devotion that you have heartfelt you take all that experience and all those tools and you combine them together. And that's what's happening here. I couldn't have done this 20 years ago. I don't think I was prepared. I didn't have the knowledge. But now I've done creative, I've designed posters, I've designed album covers, I've worked in movies. So this is a culmination of really life's work. So it wasn't just a couple of years <laughs> you're yeah. looking at everything I have and putting it into one bucket. And now you have put it all together and you created like some global initiatives that uh, I think you're going to share with us, right? What are the goals of these initiatives and uh, what should people know about the metaverse? Ah. Excellent question. The metaverse is so new for everyone. Trying to define its usage is something that even the larger companies are trying to contend with. Now, since it's in its infancy, that gives everyone, including myself, you don't have to be a large company, but an ability to put down a stake. Now, 
it's our responsibility as people, whether it's cultural, whether it's global, to say to ourselves, I want to do what I can to make a stake on this metaverse. Now, you may not understand it in detail, but then that's where the innovation comes in. Yeah. It's our responsibility to find the usage for it. We have the gift. You open the gift. Now you have to find how does it apply to me? How does it apply to my neighbors? How does it apply globally? And that's what I tried to do. I looked at nurses. Um, the nursing field has been so downtrodden and never is given the respect it deserves. So that's why I created digital nursing, because I realized that as time goes on with telemedicine, uh, telehealth, and that's global, by the way, those terms have gone global. We're going to need something, a stamp or emblem or icon that will differentiate just, and I don't mean just um, disrespectfully, but the nurse have been doing nursing for all those years until now yeah. with the new digital environment we're going into. It sounds interesting. Uh, it sounds promising too. Um, and people, you know, they can they can go online. Is that a part of telehealth and everything? Telehealth is just it's a new term that we're that the globe is trying to understand. Because uh, could it mean just you calling a doctor? Yeah. Your doctor communicating with you? Yes, that does. But now I've also developed what you call teleport scanning. Teleport scanning. You're into a lot now, of stuff, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, <laughs> Dr. Lott, we don't have that much time with her. So, no, no. Give you <laughs> so we want to do, do it while we can. Yeah. Teleport but. scanning, I looked at as now a way that information can be given to a doctor uh. pre meeting the patient. So now the doctor has information and data so that when they do that telemedicine or that telecall, they'll have information that can actually now make the call shorter. Yeah. Make it more important. And then they could be able to decide upon their meds accordingly or, all right. or um all right so I, I like that we're going to bring you back so we can, uh, you know talk more about that but i need you to hit me off with the uh, the information on your new doc can you replace a broken heart and then give me some information as to where to go before we wrap it all up okay now linkedin is the perfect social media avenue for that we're doing right now this documentary is on a person that had a full heart transplant without a drop of blood whoa yeah okay. now here's what makes this amazing i have to get this in there's only two areas in the united states thus far that can handle this surgery guess where one of the places reside where what borough you got the bronx seconds to wrap the whole thing up where in the bronx <laughs> in the bronx book it out in the bronx so i like everyone our our um trailer is being shown in LinkedIn. You can find me, Carl Lorenzo McIver. Google me. I'd be happy to speak to anyone regarding this because this is the first time that a documentary of this nature is going to really be a show awareness globally. I like it. Carl Lorenzo McIver, brand creative, global digital health influencer. We appreciate you. Thank you. And you got to come back. Uh, please invite me. I'll come. Okay. <laughs> We'll take a quick break right here. We'll come back and give you some more good information right here on Open. Thank you, thank you, thank you.